They're all set to go, the quartet of them. Ready? And away and racing. Almond C didn't get the best of starts. Master Casper did. Master Casper is the early leader with Almond C getting on terms. Kimrick's on the outside of that one. And further back then to Var Jury, who gives them three or four lengths start as Almond C is allowed to roll up in front and goes to hit the lead now with 700 meters to go. They're racing towards the outside of the track. It's Almond C by two. Kimrick Master Caspers and Almond C slipstream and a long way back to Varjuri. Entering the last 450 meters it's Almond C the leader by a length and a half. Kimrick is second. Master Casper third as they come down into the final 300. Almond C. Master Casper produced down the center. Down the outside of those comes Kimrick. It's Almond C chased hard by Master Casper inside the final hundred. Almond C is in front from Master Casper, and it's the rose amongst the thorns that goes on the best of all. Almond C is back to her best. She wins by two and a half, three from Master Casper. Kimrick ran third, a long way back to Varjuri. Well, they were very cautious the stable. They were issuing uh, releases saying that she wasn't at her best. I don't know if she had to be at her best, really, to win here. If you look at the unofficial merit ratings, they told you a, diff a completely different story. She's rated in the upper hundreds, and the others, uh, Kimrick and uh, Master Casper, are just getting to 100. And this is her trip. Almond C back to 1,000 metres at Turf and up the straight. Justifies favoritism. Three lengths clear of Master Casper. Kimrick was third, and Varjuri made up the field. That's how they ran in the second race of the day, and Almond C didn't get the best of start. She was slightly slow away. She sort of overraced that first 200 meters, but Kelvin Habib did what she likes doing best. Went on to set the gallop and the rest had to chase her down that they didn't come close to today Almond C has won her fourth race out of five starts her record was tarnished last time out over a bit further trip but back to a thousand meters today she looked the proverbial penalty kick and that's what happened three points It's always nice to see a good filly. I said to you, off fish. Uh, look, John, <laughs> you know, obviously in the sprint you want to be quick out, but she's, she's always a little bit sluggish. Um, and it just allows her to find her feet. And uh, once she gets into gear, she's, she's there. So, uh, you know, it wasn't any panic stations. Um, it wasn't anything out the usual uh, from her. But uh, what a win from her, you know, um, I believe Tony was telling me. This race just came up very quickly. Uh, there was no, no allowed, you know, they didn't allow us to have a prep, so she had no gallop. Um, I did a, good, a bit of pace work on, on Tuesday, and it's probably about the most she's done. So, win full of merit to give weight away. I thought it was a great win. Thank you so much to Tony, to Uncle Paul, to, to Mark, the whole team, and uh, to Upper Paint and Nick. Lovely to ride them another winner. Yeah, well, I came to the winner's box and I was talking to, uh, to Paul, and I said, sometimes, you know, you think the filly might need a bit of work but sometimes these little fillies like this she's such an athlete they don't need work yeah 100 percent that's um was also my comment to to paul and and to uh, to tony you know maybe she just yeah i thought it was one of her best wins and um she did everything as a professional so she's maturing with age and uh, you know we're still working it out but uh, she's a lovely filly and uh, i must say to you it's, it's lovely when you, you're really cruising and at the 400 they change legs and they, they're cooking for you so it make, makes me smile. Well I did ask Gavin, I said Gavin this filly that, that beat you is quick, he says yeah, I, th I was in front, she came past me and then Calvin asked her and she kicked again. That's 100% correct, yeah. She's got such a high cruising speed and when, when you ask her for her effort, she gives it to you again and she's just massive heart. She tries all the way to the line. You know, she puts her ears back and tries all the way to the line. So just huge credit to the team. Um, lucky, lucky pilot aboard and uh, just glad to get another one on the board. Kelly, before you go, um, can I help the Panthers out the rest of your rides? I think um, probably quite rebellion is my next best ride. Um, she's, dropping in, she's dropping in the rating. She's got a good draw. I think she'll be quite competitive. I think she'll enjoy the mile. I think um, her last couple of where she's gone a little bit further, might be a touch far. So um, I think she'll run a good race. Just want to thank my sponsors, Cord, Jason, thank you so much. Well, there you have it from Kelvin. Thank you very much. Let's have a quick word with Tony. 
lovely to train a filly like this, isn't it? Sure, I think this filly's world class. I don't think she she belongs here. She's really, really, really good. Uh, this race wasn't on the program. Another race got cancelled, so uh, it quickly uh, came out on, on Wednesday. And, you know, I was reluctant to put her in, but my dad said we can always scratch her if, if we're not happy with her. But I really, I was scared to hurt her because she's, she really had nothing. She got cast in the box. She had a snotty nose, so she really was out of work completely and uh, on the back foot and to, to win the way she did today, I really, I think she deserves a shot elsewhere. She's she's really special. Uh, big well done to Calvin. I thought he handled her really well. She missed the kick a bit, but she's got so much gas that she just blew them away. Uh, well done to uh, my uncle, my cousin Joel and my late uncle Jay. This is their filly. They they really love her. Uh, my uncle Johnny, my uncle Dominic, uh, and my dad. Uh, they all part of the ownership, and um, I just I'm really grateful for this when uh, I was coming here very nervous, but uh, thank God she, she's, she's helped us out. Yeah, listen, good horses uh, normally train themselves and she looks she looks like a proper athlete. No, she's she's different class. Uh, she's got a little bit of a, a cheeky nature to her. Uh, Simon, yes, yeah, Simon handles her really well. He gets bitten and kicked at least a couple of times a week, <laughs> but uh, they get on like a house of fire. So just well done to him and to the whole stable staff. Um, uh, it's been a it's been a tough season, but we've all kept our heads up high, and um, thank God the results have been positive. Well, there you have it from Tony, and thank you very much for being so transparent. My sponsors, Hopes and Jim Start, thank you to them. There you go, Simon. Come in and get your uh, 1500 rand. You deserve it from from the sound from, by the sounds of things. She gives you a bite and a kick, and uh, you deserve all the 1500 rand. Yes, I say thank you, and thank you, Tony and uh, Paul and my team. I say thank you and the sponsors. Wait, you got there's your 1500 rand and yeah like I said, Omen C, she's an absolute machine. She won so well. Thank you to the Peter Stable. They found us and they were concerned. Obviously, they they, uh, they were concerned about her work and she wasn't 100% uh, prepped. But then again, you can't keep a good horse down. The champions actually train themselves. 